Hello. What we're going to do is go over very, very quickly how to upgrade your firmware in the Jumper JP 4-in-1 Multi-Protocol Module. You want to do this upgrade of your firmware in your Multi-Protocol Module to run the latest quad. So let's get right into it. The instructions linked in the description below. Here's the overview. Tools required. We don't need any. Our module is ready to go. We have to install the Arduino IDE. That's a free software that turns the code that's written into firmware that your module can understand. We have to download the source code to put in the IDE. We have to install the multi 4-in-1 board, configure the IDE, configure the firmware, verify the firmware, and upload it. So let's get right into it. I'm assuming that you know how to operate a Windows computer and install software. So skipping all this stuff we don't need to do, you're going to install it. You're going to click on here to install for Windows. You want to make sure your Windows updates are done so your Java is good. The source code, really simple. You're going to click on this link right here. <clears throat> I said click on this link right here. Okay, my computer's stuck on stupid now. But anyway, you're just going to save that to a file. Open it in a folder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, we can't find that site now. Yeah, sorry, folks. My Internet's gone on crackers here. Now, these instructions here will get you installed in the multi form one STM32 board. So let's click on that. It'll take us right over here, and it's going to tell us to open up the file preferences and go paste this into a URL. So let's cover how to do that really quick. What we want to do here is double click on this folder that we saved of our source code. Open the multi protocol folder inside of there. Come down here, select multi protocol with a little icon or say INO. It's an Arduino file. We're going to double click on that. When we do that, that's going to open up our IDE with our project already loaded. So we want to go to file and preferences and we see we need a URL in there. So let's go back over to our web browser and let's copy and paste this URL, this big ugly sucker right here, right on back over here. Boom, we're going to put that in there. Now we have to use control V from the keyboard to paste this in here because the programmers don't allow us to use the mouse button paste in that field for whatever reason. Just go with it. So we're going to click OK. Now we're going to come over here to tools and because we installed that board, now we can select this board here, which is already done. Auto detect is the method we're going to use. COM3, how do we know it's COM3? The first time we ran this, it only showed us COM1 and we didn't have our module plugged in. Then when we plugged in our module, COM3 popped up. That's how you tell. Start it the first time without your module plugged in. Get it all set up for the board and everything. Then come back and start it again with your module plugged in and you should get COM3. Okay, and the programmer is ST. M32 flash FTDI that's selected down here. Alrighty, so we got all that good. We're going to go up here to sketch. We're going to hit verify, compile, and when we do that, we're going to get an output that looks very much like this because we've just done it. Alrighty, and then we're going to hit sketch upload. We want to make sure we're showing the multi form one auto detect on COM3. And then some things are going to happen. It's going to look for a Maple device. It's not going to find one. We're not using a Maple device. We're not using a Tyrannus here. Probing serial port COM3 for STM and boot zero mode. SMT flash 0.4. We're looking up the code. We've got the serial interface. Yep, it looks good. Everything checks out. We found the module, so we're going to flash it. We're erasing it and now we've got to rewrite it and a whole bunch of stuff goes on to get a message that says done at this point you can turn your radio back on and there'll be a red light flashing on the back of your module okay just unplug it turn it on you should be good to go if you bricked it don't say i didn't warn you that is possible whenever you do a procedure like this so to recap that is what it is folks now we're going to see if we can't stop this recording and uh, do some good for you.